This sculpture is called The Pillar of Shame by Danish artist Jens Galshiot. It's dedicated to the victims of the 1989 Tiananmen Massacre in the Chinese capital Beijing. It was put up in Hong Kong in 1997. But last month, the University of Hong Kong demanded that it be removed from its campus, where it has stood for 24 years. For the territory's pro-democracy activists, it's a new assault on freedom of speech. Our observer is a member of an artist's collective called Lady Liberty that tries to draw attention to the situation in Hong Kong via art. He helped create a 3D model of the sculpture to ensure its posterity. We're concealing his identity for security reasons. So when we heard the news, we've decided to try and scan the whole thing, if you may. It's a technique called photogrammetry. What it does is it recreates an object or a terrain from the photos. The more photos you have, the more complete the final result will be. And you, know, you can do panoramic shots around the thing that you want to do. You can do drone shots and the program will figure it out for you. They may try to censor public spaces in Hong Kong, but they cannot censor the internet or they cannot send armed thugs or police officers or anyone to just take down the internet. If it's once it's there, it's forever. The pillar of shame being in Hong Kong is not just a memory, it's, it's a symbol of the freedom of speech we have in Hong Kong. So by removing this statue, it's really a symptom of what's happening in the city. Every day we're getting less and less freedom. They're cracking down on everything they don't agree with. We used to make art that is very public. It's on the street, it's up there. We're almost like a flash mob. But since the implementation of the national security law, we haven't been able to done any of that. And I think things will only get worse.